Hi friends, I'm so happy that you're here today. Welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Alyssa and for today's project I have this super adorable tea bag holder mini album. Of course, it doesn't have to be just for tea bags, but they do fit perfectly inside of here. So this little album here measures three and a half inches by three and a quarter inches. So super tiny, super cute. And here's the cover of mine with this Be Kind cut out. I love that. And then I just tied it closed with some ribbon here. So let's open this up. And this is just what it looks like on the inside. So you've got all these pages that are pockets. And um, I just put a little label here with the butterfly on my first page. I cut out this little heart to embellish this page here. So I didn't put tea bags in all of my pockets. Number one, because I'm not a tea drinker, so I literally only had one tea bag, but you can obviously fill up all of these pockets here with tea bags if you choose. You can also put just little journaling cards or little notes inside. So that's mostly what I did with this one. And I stuck some little cutouts as well on some of the pages. So, Here's my one tea bag. <laughs> I'm a coffee drinker. I don't know about you guys. Are you coffee or tea drinkers? I only keep this one around, I guess, just to use as an example in my little projects. So yeah, that's why I only have one <laughs> tea bag. But again, you can just stick little journaling cards or tags or anything small inside of here. I love this little love you honey cut out. And in this last pocket, I just stuck a little butterfly die cut. So you can put all kinds of things inside of this little mini album. I love all of the pockets. You can just put all different samples of tea for your loved ones. And then I forgot the back page here. I just made a little pocket and stuck this celebrate cut out inside. So super cute little mini album, tea bag holder, whatever you want it to be. Let's go ahead and make one together. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the base of the album and you're just going to need one sheet of paper that measures eight inches by three and a quarter inches. And we're just going to line this up at the eight inch side and score this at three and a half and four and a half. And fold these over. And that's gonna be the base of our little album. And if you're using single-sided paper like me, you can obviously feel free to cover up the inside too. I'm just gonna set this aside for now and start working on the inside pockets or pages. So you're going to need three sheets of paper, but they're all gonna be different measurements. So I'm going to start with the smallest paper first, and this one is going to measure six and a quarter by six and a half. So let's start by lining this up at the six and a quarter inch side. And by the way, the paper that I'm using is from this paper pad from Park Lane and I got this at Joanne. Anyway, this is lined up at the six and a quarter inch side and we're just gonna be scoring this at three and three and a quarter. All right, so just like this. So this is gonna be our spine 
And now we're gonna turn it to the six and a half inch side. And we're gonna score this at half an inch and three and a half inches. So half an inch and three and a half inches. All right, so we're left with something that looks like this. And let's just go ahead and fold all of our score lines over. So I like to just fold over this half inch score and then fold the entire thing at that three and a half inch score. And then I will just fold the whole thing over this way and then this side goes this way. So we have our spine here in the middle and then our tab is going to just be glued on the inside of each pocket. So let's go ahead and do that. And just fold it right over to the end. So we've got two little pages here and you can always put a little notch in the middle if you'd like or leave it as is. I like my thumb notch though so this is going to be loud. <laughs> I always put one in. So it's going to look like this and then we're going to put this aside and grab our second sheet of paper and this one is just going to measure six and a half inches by six and a half inches. So line this up at one of the six and a half inch sides and we're just going to score this at three and three and a half inches. So just like this and then we're just gonna flip that over to the other six and a half inch side and we're gonna score it at half an inch and three and a half inches all right so it looks something like this and same thing we're just gonna fold up all the score lines And if you want, you can just open the whole thing up and fold your other score lines down that way too. If that's easier. Okay, but now I just wanna fold everything back up and just make sure that my pages here are nice and set. So you can see with this one, since my pattern does have a specific direction, one side is gonna be upside down. So if that bothers you, just pick a non-directional patterned paper or just use plain colored cardstock. And then again, we're gonna glue down the half inch tab here and then just fold this over all right so we can set this one aside and we're gonna grab our last sheet of paper and this one's going to measure six and three quarters by six and a half. So I'm gonna line this up at the six and three quarter mark 
and this one we're scoring at three inches and three and three quarters. So three and three and three quarters. Again, we're gonna flip it to the six and a half inch side and we're gonna score at half an inch and three and a half inches. And here's our paper. And same thing with this one. All right, so let's just bring all of our pages back and our album. And now we're just going to nest these pages into each other like so, and just glue the spines into each other like that. So obviously put them in order of size. And I'm just gonna pop glue on the spine here. And I will place this one right down into the spine here. All right, so it's gonna look like this. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this page here and just pop some glue on the spine and place it inside of this spine. All right, so here is what it's going to look like. You've got all your little pocket pages here. And then we're just going to glue this entire spine to the inside of our album. Again, go ahead and just cover up the inside if you're using single-sided paper. But I'm just gonna glue this whole thing down. And while that's drying, I may cut out some little squares for the front and the back covers. So those are just gonna be three and a half inches by three and a quarter inches. So I'm gonna cut out two of those. Okay, so I have two sheets for my inside covers and I'm also gonna show you how I did my ribbon enclosure. It's the same way that I always do it. I'm just gonna pop some glue here in the middle of my inside cover and just put my ribbon right down like that. And then I always just go in with some tape for extra adherence. And then I'll just take one of my sheets here and glue it right on top. And I just eyeball how long I want the ribbon to be, but that's maybe like from here to the end is like seven or eight inches. And then I'll do the same thing to my back cover. Okay, so now we can start decorating and you can put all sorts of things inside of your pockets as you saw for my example. So I'm gonna start with my cover and I'm just going to foam tape this one on the front 
I think it's perfect because it says just for you. And let's flip this open. This one says, don't worry, be happy. I love that. I mean, can you tell that I'm ready for spring? <laughs> I know it's still winter and I try to appreciate every season that I'm in, but I'm just always yearning for spring. So again, I'm just taking these little inserts from my other album and I'm going to put this little mushroom sticker here because I like how the red contrasts with the green. Stick my other little insert inside. My tea bag in here. I'm gonna stick this butterfly right here. I'm just gonna glue on this happy day cutout. And that's gonna be it for this little tea bag holder mini album. So again, there's our cover. I like how I call this a tea bag holder and I don't even have tea bags to put inside. <laughs> but again, you don't have to fill this up with tea bags if you don't want to. You can put all sorts of things inside of the pocket pages and it's just a super cute little mini album. So let's go ahead and tie this up. And there we have it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please give this video a like if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more crafty fun. And also don't forget to leave me a comment down below. I really enjoy talking to you guys and keeping up with you. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Happy crafting everybody!